Welcome and happy birthday to all the Capricorns who were born on um, January 6th to January 12th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. I hope you had a wonderful um, new year. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, it is going to be a beautiful year. You have the in the center the Wheel of Fortune. And that is so wonderful. I see you are going to be having a new start, some of you. And remember, these are timeless reading. This was created in um, the week of uh, 12, uh, 6 till 12 January. Now, it's a wonderful um, year for you guys because the energy of the Empress is in the, the middle and the crowning of the year. The balance is a forward movement, temperance, and the wheel of fortune. So this is wonderful and um, really wonderful, really positive, because what we're seeing here is that we're seeing absolutely positive alignment of energies that is coming up. So for you birthday people, if you were born on the 6th, and remember that every experience that is on the um that is here has to do with who you are as a person okay so remember so we're going to be looking at this and we're looking at this is a person who was born on the six. You have the energy of the star, the star and the wheel of fortune. That means a lot of success is going to be coming in. Then we have the people who were born on the seventh, um, the energy of uh, um, whatever legalities do you have. Um, um, the wheel of fortune is going to bring balance to these issues and situation. Then we have people who were born on the 8th. We have the energy of the Empress. If you are thinking about starting a, a, a business in this year, it's going to be perfect. Then we have the energy of the Fool. For the people who were born on the 9th, we have a real positive energy where you're going to be moving forward and Wheel of Fortune is going to be coming to help you. So some of you, if you're planning on buying a car, this is the year to buy a car. If you're planning on relocating, this is the year to relocate. So these are wonderful positive energies that is coming up. For the people who are born on the tent, we have the energy of the devil. So you're going to be having negative forces affecting your life, but not to worry about it. Then we have moving forward, the energy of the chariot. And that is going to be wonderful for the people who are born on the 11th. The chariot is the energy of uh, um, two horses moving forward in a really perfect um, alignment of energy relocation moving by new houses are going to be coming up for you guys then we have the people who were born on the 12th and we have the energy of temperance you are going to be very grounded and very balanced in this year so let's take a, um, a deeper look for the people who were born on the 6th 6th of january i see heartbreak is coming up that you um, could be having heartbreak in this year. It's not a year of love. So from the heartbreak, you're going to be healing. And I see financial um, abundance is going to be coming in for you. So this is good and wonderful because it's as if some of you had some heartbreak over issues and situation in the past. If you notice it's in the past, it could be coming up in the beginning of the year, but you're going to be learning to let go of it you are definitely going to be learning to let go of it and as you let go of it the universe is going to be bringing you positive alignments of energy so whatever the heartbreak was whatever injustice that has transpired in 2019 this year what is going to be happening is that you're going to be healing overcoming from this i see positive movement is coming in I see financial security is going to be coming in. Money is definitely be coming in and security, financial security. So this could affect the men and the, and the women are going to be healing, but the men are going to be heartbroken. The women are going to be having money. Money is going to be good in this year for the women. The men are going to be heartbroken. As we move on to the people who were born on the 7th, I see you're protecting yourself 
whatever the issue and the situation is I see protection is what you're doing at this moment you're trying um, in this year to protect yourself from whatever forces and negative forces that is coming at you you're going to be protecting yourself you're going to be standing your ground some of you could have been dealing with um um, a people and situation that was kind of blocking you and now you're releasing yourself out of that and you're moving forward I see the energy of friendships are going to be built in this year I see you protecting yourself some of you could have been protecting yourself from a friendship however that is playing out for you I see a lot of you could be creating um, new family members or new friendship in this year it's going to be wonderful business and whatever injustice that was there is going to be good whoever you meet as friends in this year is going to stay in your life for a very long time they are going to be bringing you help and balance whatever the issue and the situation is i see a lot of you standing your grounds and standing your grounds in a very good way and in an upright way okay we can stand our grounds but sometimes we can stand our grounds with the ego but for the people who were born on the seventh I see you standing your ground in a very upright way a very positive way you're bringing back balance in your life so whatever injustice there was I see you're coming out of a negative cycle this negative cycle is definitely going to be over so whatever the issue and the situation that was playing I see that this negative cycle is going to be over and there's no reason to worry because you you are releasing yourself this year is the year that you're going to be releasing yourself and these things are going to be happening right after your birthday so I'm really loving this year for you guys because you can see the energy of you releasing people's situation that doesn't serve you anymore as we look at the people who were born on the 8th this is going to be a very lucky year especially if you have a business this year is going to be extremely lucky i see movement and these movements are positive if you notice the foundation of your year is uh, moving forward swift swift moving forward and overcoming issues and situations so money you're going to be making a lot of money so for the people who were born on the eight you're going to be making a lot of money especially in business okay business you're going to be making absolutely a lot of money in business um, business doors of opportunities is going to be opening up for your business and I'm seeing you making a lot of money business and love is going to be one of the most important things so this is good ace of Pentacle and you start um, with your financial stability and that is so powerful and then in love a new start and this is also um, powerful it was not a year of love but it could be that you will be receiving more clients coming in and these clients are going to be helping you to align you on the right direction going forward and this is going to be good because especially entrepreneur and the rest of you some of you are going to have a new start in uh, your financial situation some of you are going to be having a new start in business this is really wonderful okay so whatever is coming in in this year it's going to be coming in very very fast whatever is accessing and coming around in this year it's going to be very very fast whatever deceptiveness that was playing with you in the workplace and that sort of a thing it's going to be just ending abruptly and that sort of a thing is going to be cleared up so that is good so um, for the people who are born on the ninth I see some of you could be deciding um, to um, move forward um, with um, a new love and this woman is a Pisces cancer scorpion you could be moving forward to this person I see you could be relocating to this person whoever this person is I see that you and this person is going to be having a new start for some of you you're going to be finding nurturing and nurturing yourself so people who were born on the ninth this is going to be a good year because it's as if you start to nurture yourself and start to understand the situation some of you could be moving forward and relocating and going towards um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this person comes up as a scorpion I see that some of you walk away from a scorpion from out of a relationship however way this is working I see some of you had some regrets from an issue and a situation with a scorpion 
whoever the scorpion woman is whatever the situation is i see some of you could be leaving this person behind and moving forward whether it's in business could be a supervisor someone it could be a mother however this is coming up it could be a sister but i'm seeing you having a lot of emotional issues that you're leaving behind a lot of luck is going to be coming in so whatever the issue is and the situation is a lot of luck is going to be coming in luck is on your 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 in your world there's a lot of luck and surprise that is going to be coming in there is a, going to be one uh, explosive luck luck is coming in for you and this is going to be good so wonderful alignments of energy for you guys that was born on the nine for the people who were born on the 10 i see you carrying burdens these burdens were created and these burdens are going to be created to people of lower energy so okay so whatever the burdens is and the deceptive is i see some of you dealing with the king of cups whoever this king of cups is and whatever is going on i see this king of cups um is going to be creating a lot of burdens it could be a child for some of you it could be someone who you work with on the work floor whoever this king of cups is i see some um um burdens that was that is going to be created um, that is coming up for you guys but the thing about it is that heal your emotion let go of these burdens some situation because you're coming out letting go of burdens so the next birthday you're going to be fulfilled with love and happiness whatever is to inspire you're dealing with a karmatic situation and it has to do with um, emotional issues okay some of you need to release your emotional issues that you're carrying and it could be that you're carrying these emotional issues that was created or a sister, a brother, or someone. So I see you letting go of these emotional issues. These are karmatic issues that you people that were born on the 10 is going to be dealing with in this year. So be aware of that. They're just karmatic issue. Then we have the eye princess for the people who were born on the 11th. There are um, this I princess your spirit guides are going to help you to be victorious over deceptive situation that has taken place this I princess is going to be working with the people who were born on the 11th to move you forward if you notice two is the number for the I princess and here is two horses so you're going to be going in duality you're going to be moving forward in duality whatever that was going on whatever the worries is whatever conflicts you were having with an Aquarian uh, um, an Aquarian you are going to be overcoming this issue okay so whatever conflicts you are having with an Aquarian I see you overcoming this issue and you're going to be moving away from whatever situation it could be this is really coming up as people in general people in um, groups of people that you are dealing with issues I see you overcoming this I see you moving forward you're going to be having energies of duality but your spirit guides are going to be coming in and help you here you go you're going to be very 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 successful victory and success is yours you're going to be very very successful so keep on the part that you have started on and and create uh, um 10 new things that you want to achieve for your next birthday because it's going to be beautiful then we have the energy of the empress for the people who were born on the 12th this is a good energy it's going to be a powerful year for you whatever you want in this year do you want to buy a new car do you want to buy a new house luck is on your side this is your lucky year so again people who are born on the 12th of january this is your lucky year the wheel of fortune and the empress means that if you need new furnitures a new house a new car um new work new business this is your lucky year you have also the energy of uh, um um temperance and temperance is an earth energy so if you notice you the wheel of fortune is bringing you luck and the empress is here which is a mother nurturing energy you are going to be finding this energy you are going to be understanding this energy and you're deciding to turn your back 
and you have decided and leave something coming in this new year. So there was issues, situation, you had to balance these uh, issues and situation out. You have turned your back, move out of this, um, whatever the situation is. And by doing that, you're going to be creating a lot of uh, abundance and prosperity. Blisk is yours in this year. Here we go. Here we go. I did say it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I did say it. So, wow, ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful year. Happy birthdays. There is not um, a lot of issues and problem. Um, this, this issue is that whatever is transparent, so people always think that the cross is bad. The cross is that you're coming out of, as as deceptive situation very fast so whatever is transpiring in your world um and whatever comes up in your life in this year you're going to be coming out of situation very fast okay i see you're going to be having luck luck is going to be coming in because some of you are going to decide to move away from someone this some of you are dealing with a um um, this is the energy of a cancer. Some of you are dealing with um, a cancer. Whatever the issue and the situation is, some of you are uh, dealing with a cancer. So for the people who were born um, on um, the ninth, you're dealing with a cancer. Now, write these numbers down. For the people who were born on the 6th of December, you have 3, 17, 8, 10, 1, 0. Another time 10. Okay. This is really good. Write these number down. Use them in whatever way you want to do. For the people who were born on the 8, you have 7, 11, 36, which is 9, and 6. Okay. So again, 7, 11, 6, 9, and 36. For the people who were born on the um, the eight, you have four, one, one, and ten. So it's a lot of new beginnings and fast beginnings coming in for you. A lot of new beginnings and fast beginnings coming in for you. Then we're looking at the um, the people who were born on the ninth. Uh, you have the energy of uh, no zero nine and five zero nine and five zero nine and five okay so be aware of that then we're looking at the people who were born on the tent you have 15 6 5 10 1 0 so again 15 6 5 10 1 zero so there's a lot of number that you can use that in this year that is going to be bringing you balance in your life for the people the people who are born on the 11 and the 12 this is going to be an extremely good year for you extremely it's good because luck is um here for you guys this is a very lucky year with a wheel of fortune luck is here for you guys people who are born on the 11th you're dealing with five seven uh, two, four, 31. Okay. So five, seven, two and 31, four and 31. So this is good. As we move forward and we're looking at the people who are born on the 12, we have the energy here of the 12. We have the situation of three, seven, 34, six, and 14 5 wow you have a lot of numbers so let's do this again 5 14 3 6 7 34 wonderful energies for you guys use it use these energy in whatever way you will um let's move on and see what is coming out for you guys so we have um this angel this is wonderful the ace of thought. So you have the cherubly, which is the angels of love coming in, the ace of thoughts. Um, this cherubly has arrived. 
to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly, thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your ideas. Do not be dismayed by little challenges on the way. There are merely course create um course corrections to perfect your plan so what this is saying is that basically this is just going to be a wonderful year um whether or not you're starting a business if you're studying whatever you're doing it's going to be a powerful year because help is coming in and no matter what um issues is going on know that the course correction that needs to be done is going to be done and it's going to be beautiful in a child and this this year just obviously this year was a message of you healing your inner child and then you're going to be able to heal other people and this is just so wonderful and so powerful because these are positive alignments of energy so I'm going to put them here when we deal with our inner child is that what we try to heal ourselves, and it's all about inner child because you see the energies it's really young it's really fresh and it's all about you healing who you are as a person and accepting the situation that has transpired accepting um where you can't change things you accept whatever comes out and you don't try to change things some of you could be getting pregnant that is coming in that some of you could be getting pregnant if you have been working on getting pregnant that is going to definitely definitely happen so um ladies and gentlemen um you know welcome back use the energy in whatever way um this was created um um from the 6th until the 12th this is the birthday reading so i want to say to each and every person thank you so much for being here please leave a message love and light i love you guys namaste until next time